Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and this sweet little girl is Carmen. Carmen is the real born Caspian Asleep Bountiful Babies. Her artist is Jessica Webb and the nursery name is Jessica Reborns or Jessica Reborn Nursery. And I adopted her through my friend Alyssa and I just love her. She has the most unique seal to her, you guys. When I did her unboxing, I haven't done a clothes change yet and I'm trying to share the babies. I have a couple left of the ones that I added to my nursery. I got rid of like 30 babies and um, I've added in about 12 or 14 and I wanted to share them with you guys. So I left them in the clothes that they came in. I like to change them with you guys. Um, but yeah, I, I just couldn't believe when I got her, I actually had a Caspian coming that I had gotten. You guys are gonna to get to see that one too because I need to do a changing on that one. I didn't realize both both of them were Caspians. Even though I was hearing the name, I didn't realize it because they look completely different. She looks like a little Hispanic baby and um, the other one is definitely Caucasian uh, boy. But when I seen this one, I wanted it so much because of that unique seal on her. And I was trying to explain to you guys, I couldn't describe it. She's got like that texture, but you don't feel the texture like I thought you were going to. It looks so strong on her, but she feels like a silicone. And she's not, she's vinyl. I love her floppy head. I just love how beautiful she is, but she has such a unique, let's pop out her passy. She had her bottle and everything, but she was sleeping so good. But she has a really unique uh, finish to her. I love her hair, love the way they did the hair on it, the painting of the hair, rooted lashes, painted eyebrows. I mean, she's stunning, you guys, absolutely stunning. But she's got this unique seal to her that makes her look like it's very textured um, but it's not when you feel it. She feels like a silicone. That's the only way I can describe it. She feels like a silicone, yet she's a vinyl. So I really love the, um, you know, whatever was sealed on her. I love it. And I love this baby so much. I feel, I'm just happy I got my hands on it. Because I almost was, you know, wasn't going to get her because I had a Caspian coming when I realized it. But then I thought, oh, I just want her so bad. And I was glad when um, Alyssa had messaged me and said that it fell through. Somebody wanted her, did a down payment, never got her. So I said, okay, I will get her. I will. Because I was mad that I let it go because I really wanted to experience this. I just thought maybe I won't like the texture. I kept asking her to describe it. She said, yeah, it's textured. But she wasn't really telling me that it felt like a silicone. She didn't really think to, you know, for that word as she works with vinyls. But yeah, it definitely feels, I mean, she's felt silicone, but I don't think she realized it until after I messaged her. But yeah, it feels like silicone. She is a gorgeous little girl. Mwah. I love her so much. I'm so happy I got her. But she's so passively sleeping. And so we're going to go ahead and read the word. We're on July 31st. You guys, can you believe tomorrow will be August? I can't believe that. Uh, it is Wednesday. So happy hump day to all of you guys. And I hope you're getting ready to slide into the weekend and that everybody is doing well. So for the last of the, um, the month for July 31st, we're on what's called When Judgment Comes. This ought to be a good one, you guys. It is for judgment to begin with the family of God, and it, if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for, the, for those who do not obey the gospel of God? Let me reread that one more time. It is the time for judgment to begin with the family of God, and if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? 1 Peter 4.17 this is a great one, you guys, too. I'm going to go on to read. This is a great one because I know somebody asked me, what do they know about their loved ones, you know, if they made it to heaven? Well, if they didn't believe in God, then they couldn't make it to heaven, which is a sad thing. Um, you have to believe the death of Jesus Christ. You do have to get your salvation. Um, it's just knowing and believing and, you know, trusting God, you know, trusting and putting your soul and heart into Jesus. I'm going to go on to read it. It says, does God's judgment happen only after we die? Or does it take place now before we die? The answer is both. Someday we each will die and stand before God to give an account for our lives. And if we have ignored God and turned away from his offer of salvation, we can expect only his judgment. The Bible is clear. Man is destined to die once and after that to face judgment, Hebrews 9:27. Those are sobering words that we ignore at our purville. But the Bible warns us that God also brings judgment upon us in this life, the Bible says. You may be sure that your sin will find you out, Numbers 32, 23. The headlines are filled with people who thought they could sin and get away with it, only to have it come 
out in the open and bring their lives crashing down. Don't ever take God's judgment lightly and don't ever take sin lightly. God doesn't take them lightly. And the proof is that they cost his dear son his life. And so see what it's saying there? We do have to have our salvation. We do have to be right with God. We will stand before judgment. We need to have our salvation. But what he's saying here is um, don't ever take God's judgment lightly. Don't ever take sin lightly. What we do, God doesn't take them lightly. And the proof is the proof is that they cost his dear son his life. So it cost God's son's life, which was God you know, was 100% God, came to this earth in human form as Jesus Christ, now God's son, and took on those sins for us. And it cost, you know, his life for our sins. So God doesn't take them lightly. He doesn't because he did this for us. His son died on a cross for us, you guys, so that those sins could be wiped away, you know, from his death if we believe. But we need to believe what if, you know, a free gift to eternal life but we do have to ask for forgiveness. We do have to live our life right. We do have to believe this and we do have to get our salvation. And you can get your salvation in the books of Roman. I think it might've, did it say any of the Romans in here? It didn't, but in the book of Romans, if you go into Romans, it'll teach you how to get your salvation. And if I can think of any, I'll throw them up on the side here so that you guys can go in and read them. If not, just study the book of Romans and you guys will understand how to get your salvation. But I'll try to stick it up there for you. Um, today it says for the wisdom is help us to take sin seriously. We do need to take sin seriously because it is very serious. It cost Jesus his life. Our sins cost Jesus his life. So we need to take what we do seriously. Father, or we need, I'm sorry, help us to take sin seriously, Father, and to constantly, constantly be seeking to remove it from our lives. May we follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit so we do not need to fear judgment either in this life or one to come. Do you hear what it's saying, you guys? May we follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit so we do not need to fear judgment either in this life or the one to come. We don't need to fear that if we believe. If we believe that Jesus died on that cross and we get our salvation and live our life right and ask for forgiveness, we don't need to fear about that our life here or our life to come. We don't need to because thank God for the death of Jesus Christ. Boy, I don't wanna know that I put him up there, but I did, I put him up on the cross, but I am very eternally grateful for that because we were all all bound for hell, every one of us, it didn't matter. We were because we're all sinners and we all live in glass houses. I know I gotta close right now, but we all live in glass houses. We all fall short of the glory of God daily. And if you don't think you do, well, check yourself because we all do, we all sin on a daily basis. Even just getting angry is a sin. But we don't have to worry anymore, you guys. We don't, if you get your salvation, you don't have to worry. If you know loved ones have died, if they had their salvation, we don't have to worry. We know that they're in heaven. We don't want to face the wrath of God, the judgment of God. And now since the New Testament and Jesus' death, we don't have to worry about that. But we do. It's a big worry if we don't believe and we don't have our salvation. It's a big worry because you definitely will be facing the judgment of God. You will. That's a great one to end July 31st. Please, if you got your salvation today on the 31st of July, the last day of the month of 2024, write it down. You know then you are heaven bound and start living your life right. And we want to start our day, go through our day and end our day. Whoopsie. <laughs> with, um, start, we want to go through the day, start, start our day, go through the day and end our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. This is what is going to help us. We want to read it, study, honor, obey, and live by it. We read these words, we're gonna know how to live because then we're, and we need to believe in every word that's in this book, but we need to read it and study it. I have been getting back to my reading, but I need to do even more. I've even been going to my chair and praying, but I still need to give God even more, more of me. But God is so good. He has answered so many prayers, even the battling that my husband and I are going through. We're going through it, but God is walking every step of the way with us. And I put my full trust. I got my salvation years ago. I know where I am going. And I always say, God, take me as I am because I cannot come any other way. And I am grateful for that cross because now I know where I am going when my time is up. So I have eternal life. This, you know, this life here, um, you know, isn't our life. Our life is in heaven. That's eternal life. That's where we'll live forever because we don't live forever here. But we never truly die. Our shell will go under the ground. Our soul goes to heaven, and when Jesus returns, our, our uh, shell, our body, will reunite with our soul. Um, but until then, you know, that's just how it is, you guys, that week. I, I got a little 
Sorry, I was thinking of something. But, you know, to know that we have eternal life, that's in heaven. This isn't our eternal life here. But we need to work as hard as we can here while we're on earth to save souls, to reach souls out there, to talk about God, to be loud, be proud, um, and do our part. But don't just do it here. God wants us behind closed doors to show him our Christianity as well. Because it's easy for us, like it says in the Bible about the pagans, standing on the corners and preaching the word of God, but then, you know, going behind corners and not even talking about God. God knows our true heart and he knows if, you know, we truly love him. We don't need to prove it to anybody. We need our walk right with God. So it's important that we get our walk right with God and God will know that. So don't just do it here, but be loud, be proud, be spreading his word, but also behind closed doors, be reading his word and studying it and spending time with them. And I'm always saying, I never do enough. I've been, you know, doing what, you know, more than I was doing before, but it's never enough for God. It's never enough. I want to give God everything for what he did for me. I want to give it all to him. So I hope you guys love the reading here. And I hope you got your salvation today. If you do have your salvation, that's wonderful. You'll be in heaven one day with me. And I'm just so happy that Jesus died for us. As sad as that is, I'm happy that he died for us. And I'm grateful. I should say grateful, not happy he died. By all means, it should have been us up on that cross. I am grateful he died because now I know I have eternal life in heaven because I believe. And I live my life, you know, I'm not going to say the best I can because I definitely can live a lot better. I mean, I got a potty mouth and I do things that are wrong and all of that. But I just, to know where I'm going is such a good feeling to know that. And you can know that today 100%. So get your life right today, you guys. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, happy last day of the month. Happy July 31st. We'll be going into August. Enjoy your summer. It's going by fast, you guys. But stay cool and like Ann would say, hydrated and all that. It's been really hot here in Minnesota. Um, and just grateful for the air. I know you guys hear it really loud when I'm here and when I go over to the changing table, you don't hear it as much because then I'm a little farther away from it. Still in the same room, but farther away, but I am grateful for air. God, thank you for that. And thank you for waking me today. And thank you for my salvation so I know where I'm going. All right, you guys, we're gonna get beautiful Carmen over to the table and change her up. I know it's Wednesdays, we wear pink. She has her pink on, but I got a really cute outfit I wanna put her in and she already has her pink. So we're gonna go over to the table and we ask that you over there. All right, you guys, we're back here at the changing table with Carmen. And I forgot to mention, you guys, I got a cute little bracelet on here that says Carmen. I told Alyssa when I adopted her through her um, that I was going to name her Carmen because to me, she looked like a little Hispanic. And I was looking up names and Carmen came to mind and I loved it. And so she put a little um, band on her little foot here and wrote Carmen on it. And I've always left it on her. It's so cute. I thank you, Alyssa, for that. Um, I don't know, Alyssa doesn't have a channel. She's just a friend of mine on, on my Facebook, uh, um, different sites on Facebook and stuff like that. And I've gotten a few babies through her. We've done some trades and stuff like that. And this one I bought through her. And oh, Alyssa, I am loving her so much. I know it's been a while since you've seen her come on, but it's time to do her first changing. So we're going to put her in this, you guys. Look at this dress. Isn't this cute? I don't even know where I got it from. Um, I do believe I got it from... I want to say like a garage sale or a Goodwill. I can't remember, but I loved it so much. And it just says it's called, um, gosh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Durap. I don't know. I'll just put it up there to show you guys. I don't even know how to say that name. And it says size zero, zero. So I think it would be a newborn. But look at this beautiful uh, dress that flares out. I love that. It's got all the, the smocking up here. Um, with all the, uh, you know, where it kind of singes in or whatever you call it. I think you call it smocking. It's got beautiful flowers. The whole color of the dress is like a teal blue. And then it's got all different flowers. It's got butterfly sleeves. And the flowers are in a pink, um, like a fuchsia pink or a, like a Barbie pink, light pink, white. It's got greens in it. It's got some blue in it. It's got a beautiful rose on the front here. It's a flower with um, the, you know, like it ties like in a, in a bow here with a beautiful rose on there. And it's probably kind of flattened down a little bit, but you can still tell it's a rose that's 3D on it. It's got the beautiful, um, I don't even know what you would call this, the edging here going around under the uh, chest area there that's done in that beautiful royal blue. It's just gorgeous. The back of it ties and it zips, it zips up. But isn't this gorgeous, you guys? Isn't this adorable? This is gonna look so pretty on beautiful little Carmen. She's gonna wear that and then we're gonna pair it with these little um, uh, lacy shoes. We're gonna go barefoot since it's summer, but I thought since she's wearing a dress and we didn't do the four uh, Wednesdays, we wear pink because she had the pink little um, 
onesie on. It's like a, uh, what do you call it, a long underwear type onesie, but it is pink. So I thought, well, she'll go into something different, but it has pink in the dress. So we're going to do these little beautiful um, lacy little shoes that tie. They're satin-like, and they're a size newborn. And then we're going to do the white headband on her. I wanted to do white, um, just to pull a little bit of white. There were so many colors I could have pulled out in this dress, but I thought white's going to be the best. I thought of the pink. I did add to the pink to it. It was great. Even the blue would be great, but I thought white's going to be the best because I think a color is going to be too much to me. I think it'd be too much. So I just like the idea of the white. So that's where we're putting Carmen in. Carmen will need a onesie because she doesn't have one on. And all my babies go into onesies. I always put them into onesies underneath, especially the cloth body, but I do it for all my babies, even my silicones. I do that because um, I just, you know, I like to have the onesie under it. So we're going to take her bunny. This is her bunny. It's a TY. Yeah, what bunny is this? This bunny is called snowball and it looks like it's from the movie pets is where this came you know the um, bunny is representing but that's her bunny she likes her bunny her lovey her bottle she already had her bottle and I have a bracelet on her it says princess I gave that to her I don't think she sent it to me no I was for one of my other babies so I put it on her it says princess she is definitely a princess we're gonna take her nook she's magnetized there her magnetized magnetized nook and her um, clip take that off and we're going to go ahead and take her bow off. But yeah, she's got beautiful painted dark hair. And like I said, I don't know if you guys see that in her, but I see a little Hispanic baby. That's what I see in her. At first, I thought maybe like a little uh, Indian, but then I thought, no, definitely Hispanic. And that's what I think she's represented as. I think that's what um, Alyssa was telling me is she's supposed to be represented as a little Hispanic. And as soon as she said that, I thought, oh, yeah. Because I kind of thought she looked, I was going to have her as a boy. I thought she looked like that little baby from um, Ice Age. And um, I, I do believe that's a little Indian baby. Um, I, that's what I thought. But then she was saying, yeah, that or um, Hispanic. And I went, oh, yeah, Hispanic. And that's all I seen then in her was Hispanic. But that's what she is supposed to be and represented as, is a little Hispanic baby. So I love the dark hair. I love the way they did it. I love, like I said, her texture, her beautiful lashes. Maybe if I get her up here, you can see a little bit better. It's just hard for you guys to see that texture, but it, well, there you can see it, but it gives her the feel of a silicone. It is just crazy how this woman did this. She's nice and floppy, definitely baby-like. I would have put her measurements up um, in the beginning. She is definitely a newborn size. I want to say, I didn't look on the thing, but I think she would be about 18 inches and um, no more than 19, but I think she's 18 inches. Um, the Caspian, I believe, is. And she's weighted pretty good, too. I would say she's at least five pounds. Um, I didn't know her weight. Um, I never weighed her. I don't think um, Alyssa knew her weight. But she is definitely a wonderful weight for her size. Um, I like babies to be a little heavier. Um, so the realism to it. But, of course, a baby that is, you know, not real is going to feel heavier. Um, and I would definitely say, yeah, I would definitely say she's at least five pounds, at least. And I do believe my Caspian, the other one I have, the boy, and I will be sharing him this week with you guys because I'm getting done. I have just a couple more to share with you guys of the babies that um, I had recently got and um, unboxed and didn't do a changing with you guys. So she could have had a newborn size on, but this, I mean, a preemie size, but newborn's fine. But yeah, so I'm just sharing that with you guys. So when I share you the other one, the other one I believe is closer to six pounds, could even be over six pounds. I'm not sure, but I'll, you know, read on that one before I come on. I'm just trying to fix this onesie on her because I like it covered. But I love babies and onesies. Look at her Carmen bracelet. Yes, Carmen, such a pretty girl. So put on her dress. She's going to look so pretty. And I couldn't wait to put this on a baby. And literally, I've had this for like over a year. I got it last year, I think, in the summertime and never got a chance to put on the baby. I think it was getting towards the end of summer. And I think that's why I didn't get a chance. And I don't know why I didn't get a chance because I loved it so much. I really wanted to put this on a baby. And so I don't know why I didn't get a chance to use this dress yet. But I guess I was saving it for Carmen. Yeah, I was saving it for you. And all the other girls will get to wear it too. Yes, let's pull this down, sweet girl. But yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Hope your week so far is going good. I am going to be making a few videos um, again because I pre-record because I am working on babies and I've got a lot of work going on, but still trying to keep my videos going. You will get this video late uh, Wednesday evening because I'll have to crap into all the because I'm doing it right on Wednesday. Today actually is Wednesday for me 
and then all the rest of them will still be Wednesday, but oh my goodness, um, will all be made. So I'll be wearing the same outfit again, you guys. I know I don't have to explain myself, but you guys know I pre-record all my videos. Holy moly, little girl, you are so cute. Look at that on her. Isn't she just a little, <laughs> a little doll baby? I know, no pun intended, right? <laughs> oh, she just looks so cute. I wonder if I want to tighten that a little bit more, sweet girl. Let's just tighten this dress just a little bit more. But it fits her so good, you guys. And oh, do I love the, the ribbon in the back. I'll be taking photos for you guys, but look at how cute that is. And yes, her little um, onesie shows through, but I didn't want her cloth body to show through. So I'd rather the onesie show through because that looks cute. Oh my gosh, this is just darling on her. It does have two layers to the dress, but how cute is that? Let's put on your bow. Yeah, we'll put on your white bow. Yeah, this almost looks like, I always forget the name when I'm on here. One of those, um, God, I always forget the name when I come on here. I'll have to put it up on the screen again, what it, what it looks like to me. You guys are probably all screaming out what it looks like. Oh, so precious. Where's your little shoes? Oh, what'd I do with your shoes? Oh, right here. Um, I'll probably think of it while I'm on here, but I would have already put it up on the screen there. But she looks so precious, you guys. Aw, we'll move up her little ankle bracelet with her name. Get that out of the way. But oh gosh, she looks so pretty, you guys. Oh, I love this dress. I couldn't wait to use it. And I guess I was just waiting for the perfect baby for that. And of course, you know, I got a lot of really pretty stuff. And when you're going through it, I mean, I do a lot of bargain shopping grad sales and goodwills and everything and you got summer fall winter and you get all the different looks and so not always do they get a chance to wear them before the time is up and I thought I am definitely going to get somebody in this dress and I thought when I pulled her out I thought we're going to do a Wednesdays we wear pink and I thought well Shirty has the pink on even though it was just a lighter one but I thought Shirty has pink and then I saw that dress and I went oh she's going in that dress I actually was going to put it on somebody else and then I thought nope I'm putting this on her. I think it's going to look great with her skin tone and uh, just really, really cute on her. Oh, my sweet girl. Oh my goodness, you look cute. Look at her, you guys. Look at how it flares out. Isn't this dress adorable? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. That's why I love to shop at grad sales and Goodwills because you find things that are just unique that you never find anywhere else, you know, because it might be old or something like that and you just don't see it anywhere. But how cute is little Miss Carmen? Oh my gosh, is she adorable. Let's just get her on. Oh, I'm so glad it didn't get blurry because I did bring her up to the screen. I'm glad it wasn't blurry. But anyways, there she is, you guys. Beautiful little girl. Give her back her bunny. Yeah, your bunny, but we don't want the ears to get covering your face. No, we don't want that to cover your face up. And then give her back her little bottle here. Put that there. And we'll give her back her passy and clip. Just clip it here to her dress. So she's got that. And there we go. Carmen is all ready and so adorable. Yes, she is. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, enjoyed getting to see Carmen again, my beautiful little girl. Um, I just oh, I love her. She's so unique. Feels like a silicone, yet she's vinyl. Love her so much, and her art is so beautiful. I hope you guys, um, again, like I said, enjoy um, watching this video. I hope you're enjoying my videos, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. You will get this late, so I hope your day was great. Um, and I do appreciate and love all the prayers. Thank you guys for that. Continued prayers would be great. Um, I thought my husband had COVID. He was starting to get sick, and we thought he had COVID, but thank God he doesn't have COVID. Uh, it's just a cold, so praying for that as well. But just, you know, the other stuff we're battling. My son had COVID, though. He did get over it, but it was the worst case of COVID ever. I was so worried about my son. He was very ill. Um, he is better now, but he's got, like, the long COVID, so very weak and fatigued and all that. So if you guys could please pray for him to recover quicker, that would be wonderful. But, yeah, we got to pray for all these people and always be looking out for everyone. Thank you for your prayers. I'm praying for all of you guys. If you need any prayers... Uh, let me know down below or you can just tell me it's a uh, unspoken and I will definitely pray for you. We don't have to always know all the details to it. But, you know, if you just want to want extra prayers, put it down there because a lot of people will pray, not just myself. All right. Well, Carmen's going to blow you guys a kiss. Mwah! 
She loves all her aunties, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, and all of her little cousins. I love you guys as well. Mwah. But remember, God loves you the most. Look what he did for you. Because of what he did, we will not have to face judgment if we believe you guys and get our salvation. We'll live our life here and then we will die. Well, go, you know, go under the ground and we will live for eternity in heaven because of his death. Get right today. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.